Hey, what's up everybody welcome to my channel you know today it's gonna be an in-depth on how to go about in designing a heat flyer you know what's the rudiment and the uh, what, what you need to really even come up with a very creative uh, heat flyer without further ado let's get started with Photoshop now you open your, open up your Photoshop. You go back to File, New. You open up a new, you know, file. Go back to International Paper A4. To open up now, bam! You can see. Can you see right now? You go over to display to make it the landscape because we are dealing with a la with an orientation of la 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 landscape uh, size. You go over at your edit, then also image, rather, see me rather I go to 180, so automatically, no, 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 you go to 190 degree, so it pops up in a landscape. Then you go over to the image that you want to use. Uh, actually, I have a ready made image that I want to use for this uh, project uh, that I've downloaded. These are the two images. And the title of the flyer in which you want to really even deal to it is uh, uh, the future of agriculture the future of agriculture let's get started by dragging the two images into the drawing page bam you can see bam. so this image is right this image right now the image of uh, this guy we are going to uh, trace it, you know, from uh, from um, scratch. Now, the way to go about this is to select the image, then you select your pen to this is your pen to to trace the image. So to so blow up this image, so that you'll be able to see what you want to trace, you have to press tab tap key on your keyboard then F key twice that comes to this uh, state then you zoom up then you start tracing you have to be very careful when you're tracing when you're tracing be careful be careful just like that like that like that like that, 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 like that. Just like that, like that. Just like that, like that. We are almost through with the tracing. Almost through. Here we are. Now it's been traced. Oh. Now, if you want to believe, you know, cut it out of this uh, very particular background, you have to press your Control Alt Enter that makes it selected then you press ctrl j to copy to cut it off can you see automatically you just delete the underneath image which you cut from delete can you see then you drag proportionally just like this it all depends on how you want to go about it then you zoom down zoom down with your control minus key on your keyboard control minus uh, control plus on your keyboard that zoom it up control minus key that zoom in then you adjust your main background which is the the flowery background enter and 
and the uh, select this now you type your uh, information you select your test to which is this You copy you highlight then you type agriculture 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 let's change the font size the font uh, the fonts to your preferred you know fonts do the font that you want to use oh prefer futura 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 Bold Then let's change the other fonts. Let's change this to Futura. Futura. Futi. it all up they are just this make a future with the future to be a bit bolder reduce now let's add it let's add a little bit of funky style to this uh, to this very image to this very day in particular use your Use your elliptical macro tool to draw is a perfect circle. Then cut from the background. Then you apply color to this uh, to the to the circle by pressing Ctrl Shift Delete. Automatically it applies 
to the circle then we drag it a bit down then the test D you bring it all bring it up by pulling it up like this then you give it color control shift delete or control hold delete the upper color that's your solve can you see right now then you drag it a bit up then you group you group it with the with, with the circular objects by control G automatically it groups then you re reduce a little bit let's zoom down so I can see the outcome of it can you see right now apply let's drag this man a little bit down then you reduce though the point I'm trying to make is to just uh, make all these tests bigger for people to see and drag it all up a bit then you enter bam can you see let's expand the background let's adjust it a little bit so that they will be able to see the test clearly clearly can you see group the tests together ctrl g on your keyboard drag it all down then you double click the image to give a shadow here is the shadow drag that a bit down then the size I think it's okay that way okay then you go over to the uh, to this image rounded rectangular to to make an object on the on our design can you see let's give it color preferably white white zoom up a bit let's select load it up asterisk load it up let's go over to select moderate smooth let's make it nine moderate that's okay ctrl shift i to revert the selection that you delete can you see right now let's lens it opacity then you double click to give it a swag go over bevel and emboss and it was it's a lot eighty see 
twenty. Sixty will be fine. That's okay. Then you drop shadow. Okay. Zoom down. Then let's write learn more on that white surface. delete so apply color color black drag down here we come to the end of the tutorial can you see it was prepared in Photoshop and it's classic thank you for following me you know don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you know below click to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button in case there's something coming up next you'll be able to know when and how it's going to be bye for now